outside india it is much much more tough to get a job because uh, there it is considered to be a super specialization branch hi guys and today we have a very special guest dr malhar shah an md in dermatology from nhl municipal medical college ahmedabad gujarat thank you for joining thank you shivam for inviting me it's a pleasure and today we will be talking about the scope of dermatology after mbbs so let's begin uh, which colleges are the best for pursuing dermatology after mbbs any government college would be fine uh, uh, in uh, government colleges also if it is in the major cities like ahmedabad kolkata delhi bombay bangalore so there the patient workload is much more so any government college would be fine for opting in dermatology after mbbs Okay, and uh, what is the scope of dermatology in terms of the job profiles? See, uh, if uh, you want to stay in India, then uh, you can uh, opt for government colleges for uh, being an assistant professor or associate professor. But the most common practice is a private practice after dermatology, either in corporate sector or in private sector alone. Uh, outside India, it is much much more tough to get a job because uh, there it is considered to be a super specialization branch. so abroad it is tough and in india it is easy and establishing a private clinic is much more easier than doing a corporate job okay and what is the approximate range of salaries for the job profiles like you mentioned in india in india if you opt for government job then uh, the starting salary is around 1 lakh rupee uh, and it goes up to 2 and 2 and 1/2 lakh uh, on the level of uh, pay scale if in if you are in corporate sector then you would get any, anywhere between uh, 1.5 to 2 lakhs and if you are doing private then it depends on you how much you are earning like it depends on your ambition okay that's true that's true and what do you feel like uh, what is the market demand of a dermatologist in india do you feel that the market is getting saturated in the near future or do you think that the demand will keep on rising what is your take see so uh, as you told uh, it, it is getting saturated in urban areas like in uh, ahmedabad itself uh, we have more than 600 dermatologists but the uh, number of dermatologists per patient in rural india is much less and there they are deficit of dermatologists so they are treated by either surgeons or by any physician or by anybody any quack they, uh, like they are they go to any quack so it is much higher in rural areas and it is much saturated in urban areas true 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 and uh, lastly like one last question would be that what advice would you like to give to your juniors who are thinking of pursuing dermatology post mbbs Uh, see uh, so der- uh, dermatology is the branch which is, which is uh, filled first after uh, a neat pg so you need to score much higher much higher in the list to get a, derm- a dermate seat okay second thing uh, derm- it is a branch of uh, it is it is a very thrilling branch and it is branch of diagnosis so you need to have an eye and a vision for uh, pa- diagnosis of patient or you should have an eagle's eye for that and third thing all all of the people don't of the aesthetics but in residency it is much more about diagnosis rather than aesthetics aesthetics come into play after 5 7 years of your residency so you should keep that in mind okay so this was a pretty valuable video for everyone watching till here so that's it for now guys it was a great time with dr malhar thank you thank you shyam